Okay, let's go through a couple of probability problems to make sure you have this down. So it says here above is a deck of cards, which is total 52, 26 black clubs and spades, and 26 red hearts and diamonds. So then it tells you that there's 13 cards and all that kind of good stuff. So it says you select the card at random. What's the probability of getting a four of hearts? Well, there's only one four of hearts out of 52 total cards. So you see what goes on top is the number of ways you can get what they're asking you for. And then the bottom is your total sample space, which is the 52 cards. All right, so the next one says a heart or a spade. So that would mean all of those, which if you've noticed, they told you there's 13 in each, that would be 26 out of 52, or you could make it um, one half, reducing it. All right, the next one, something smaller than, and get rid of all of that, something smaller than nine would be eight, ace through eight, so eight of them, but it didn't say a certain suit, so you have to multiply it by four. So that would be 32 out of 52. And again, we can reduce, divide the top and bottom by, oops, four. 52 divided by four, so I'd get eight over 13. All right, and then you'll see on some of these, they give you, see my mouse working here, they give you a table and they ask you how to find a probability. And this is, this is very normal because in the real world, you're going to have tables like this and you might, you might want to summarize it based on probabilities. So it says, find the probability that the student was a male. Ooh, that's, that's very large, isn't it? <laughs> a male and got a B. Well, it looks like it would be eight out of the total. So that's how you get the eight out of 53. All right, let's see what we have next. So um, question eight is a good one to talk about here a little bit because it uses the word and. And if you remember, I said the word and means to multiply. Write that down. Anytime you see the word and, that means to multiply. So they're asking me, what's the probability that I would get a five, okay, rolling this single die twice, and then, and the probability I get an even number. Well, the probability of a five, there's only one five out of six values. There are two, four, six, three even numbers out of six values. And if I multiply these, and I can, of course, reduce to get my answer. Okay, this one can be a doozy to work out. And you're gonna see it's mainly part B. So we are given that we have eight red marbles. We have eight white and we have nine blue. First thing you should do is just add those up so you know your total sample space is 25. You draw four marbles. So what is the probability that all the marbles are red? What that means is the first one's red and the second one's red and the third one's red and the fourth one's red. Be sure to notice without replacement. So the first one being red, there's eight red out of the total 25. And means to multiply. Remember I said red and red. Now the second red, there's only seven left out of 24 total marbles. And then six red out of 23. And then five red out of 22. And I multiplied all the tops, I got 1680, multiplied all the bottoms, 303, 600, and I get my probability of that, 0.0055. 
Okay, where the trouble lies is this one, exactly two. And the reason the trouble lies here, think about this, to get exactly two, the first one could be red, the second one could be red, the third not red, the fourth not red. First one could be red, second could be not red, red, not red. First one red, not red, not red, red. First one not red, these two are red and not red. Just kind of moving my reds to the right. And then we could get not red, not red, red, and red. Oops, that should be an R. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six ways this can happen. So this is one you have to write out the sample space to know there would be six ways that this could happen. All right, well, if, if you notice this, because these are going to be multiplied, each one of these probabilities will be the same, right? And hopefully you kind of sort of understand why. I mean, if you don't, just do a couple of, of these lines. But if I, if I do this first one here, so again, there was 8 out of 25. So the first one is red. The second one, only 7 left. Now there are, oh, I underlined the wrong 8. <laughs> there are 17 not reds out of 23, and then now 16 out of 22 not reds. It doesn't matter because this is being multiplied. Think about this next one. You would do the same thing. You would have a red, and then you would have a not red, but in this case it would be 17 out of 24. It doesn't matter because you're multiplying straight across. So again, if I multiply these straight across, I get 1, 5, 2, 3, 2. My sample size is not going to change, the 303, 600. But I have to be careful, whatever value that I get, which I got this, I have to multiply it by 6. Because there are 6 ways that that can happen, and then that's how you get your final answer. Okay, so, so that one's pretty good difficult because you have to write out to figure out what you're going to multiply it for your sample space. All right, now the last one's not too bad because it says um, none. So in other words, we're saying not red and not red and not red and not red. Well, we know 17 out of 25 are not red times 16 out of 24 times 15 out of 23, and then times 14 out of 22. And I get this value, again, the same sample size, which becomes 0 0.1881. So typically you want to write these out so you understand what they're asking you, that none are red not red and not red and when you start using those words you'll say oh yeah and means to multiply and you'll be able to get down some of these formulas